Hello, in this video we'll talk about the ruler tool in Bedographer, and that's right up here, and it's used to measure distances. So you can click and drag and it will calculate the distance. By going to settings, you can choose to display in inches or centimeters, so let's pick centimeters, and now if we use the ruler tool you can see I'm clicking and dragging and it shows the, the distance between two points. It calculates based on the bead library you're using. So right now I've set this up with Toho round six beads and let's just measure across. We've got, this is about 5.94 centimeters. Let's go and change the beads that we're using. Uh, let's make them Miyuki Delica 15s and update the project so it saves the information. Now you can see the beads have changed from round to, to delicas. And when we go to the ruler, now it's significantly smaller, 1.93. And so you can see it auto-calculates based on the beads you're using. Now why is the ruler tool useful? I mean, you're probably not gonna be doing too much measuring like this, you might, but if you go to the file project settings and then trim the project, it cuts off the excess. And you can see that it also gives the dimensions. And here it is, 1.95, which is just about what we got with the ruler tool. This already gives the width. So it gives the width and the height if you trim the canvas. Why would you ever need to use that? Well, I'll show you. So here's my friend, you might recognize him from before. When we go to trim the canvas, you can see, <laughs> because I've designed him at an angle, it's not fitting snug like that. It doesn't get rid of all the excess canvas. It just cuts the canvas as much as it can on either side and the top and the bottom until it, it can't cut anymore. So now if I go to my project size, this gives me the dimensions, but only like that, which is not really what I want. So I'm going to click on the ruler tool, and now if I click and drag, I can work out how big he is like that. So that's probably when I would use the ruler tool the most, but you'll probably find other uses for it too.